My advice on being careful is, um, well, I've got lots of things to say on this because it's something that can really cost good students um, marks and take you just below a grade boundary. Um, so what are the key parts of being sensible? One is just sense checking, making sure your answers are sensible and what we would expect. So if you're working out that a year 10 earns £100,000 a year from working in the local store, then that's not realistic. The second piece of advice is just not rushing, especially early on in a test. Um, of course you want to do things quickly so you've got plenty of time in the later parts of the test to apply your advanced higher order thinking to difficult problems, um, but that's obviously a balance to be struck and you do not want to rush through um, an exam because that will cost you um, mistakes. One exercise you can do is to make this point really really clear to you is just take a really really simple um, exam maybe from a year that you're no longer in um, or if it's just for the GCSE take a simple pass paper probably the easiest year for GCSE was 2011 and um, and just rush through it and then mark it yourself and see how many stupid mistakes you made I guess what I'm saying here is that um, is that this will then confront you with just how much of a big issue this is for you. Your third piece of advice is um, setting out clearly. If you set out clearly you're much more likely to avoid silly mistakes. Um, remember the setting out is not just for the benefit of the person reading your work, it's also for your benefit so that you can better understand what you're doing especially if you have to come back to it later. About 30 seconds ago I recommended um, deliberately rushing through a GCSE paper to make it clear to you just how badly this area of failing to be careful is costing you. Um, another option is to do very gentle gradual speed practice. So you, when you're practicing, try and do, so time yourself doing a question um, and then see, let's say it takes you two and a half minutes. Well, then try and do it slightly quicker and set yourself a target of maybe two minutes, 15, and then see if that costs you accuracy. And what you're building up here is the ability to still be careful even though you're working fast. And that will therefore um, consolidate your ability to be, to be careful in circumstances even when you're not working fast. So that's another technique and you can use to be careful. <laughs> the other piece of advice is to take seriously your teacher's recommendations of certain techniques because they're faster or more reliable. Um, if being careful is an issue for you then when a teacher says, use this way because it's more reliable, well, just swallow your pride and use that method. If a teacher says, use this method because it's faster, again, swallow your pride and use that method because using techniques that are faster means that you do not need to rush in order to get through the paper. You can instead just capitalise on that time that has been naturally saved by using the faster technique. And um, finally, um, I would recommend question picking. There's many students who feel that they need to work through a paper in order and that makes a certain amount of sense. You start with the easy questions but if it's the case that there are certain topics that are your specialty so you know you're extremely good at circle geometry or whatever then why not go straight to a circle geometry question and do that first. I guess what I'm saying is if being careful is an issue for you, if you lose a lot of marks through careless mistakes when you do an exam, use the topics that you're good at to warm up on. Don't warm up on the questions that just happen to be early on in the paper. Um, and therefore, you might still make silly mistakes, but they'll be less costly because you've done them after having warmed up. And um, finally, um, leave time over at the end to go back and check either the early questions um, when you weren't warmed up or the questions that are in your um, areas of vulnerability. <laughs>